super fluffy, crunchy on top. Oh my god, caviar and gold flakes. I think Mike is going to cry. Maybe for a change it would be Mike getting emotional. About the food. It's tangy, it's meaty, it's tender, juicy. Like flavor explosion and I just had to close my eyes. This is amazing, to say the <laughs> least. Probably one of my best food experiences in the Philippines, for sure. If you're watching Friends, it's a uh, Janice, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Our road trip through the Philippines has started today. Currently, we're in Tagaytay and we are at a very special restaurant. We have come to Antonio's. A few days ago, we went to an amazing breakfast restaurant. And in the video, I said this. If you guys don't come here for breakfast, I am going to be angry at you. I was not sponsored by Antonio's. I reached out to them. They ignored my email. <laughs> but I still want to promote this place because it is amazing. And literally, a day after we uploaded the video, Antonio's Antonio's reached out to us and said, we're so sorry we missed your email. We would love to invite you for dinner at our dinner restaurant. And we were really excited because we've been wanting to have dinner at this place for so long. So today it's happening and I've been told this is one of the best restaurants you can go to in the Philippines. So really excited. Let's do this. Okay, so we just walked in here and it is so beautiful like on in every corner Mike and I were like wow oh this is amazing it's so beautiful um, we are a little bit dressed up a little bit fancy um, according to the location it is the perfect spot oh, so nice now we're going to have drinks uh, let's see what we will order So we just, before we start dinner, we're having a cocktail down here in the garden. It's really cute. And we got these delicious cocktails. I'm having one that's called the Star is Born. It's kind of a new rendition on a whiskey sour. And it is amazing. Really, really enjoyable. Almost as enjoyable as the great atmosphere here. So. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> All right, we finished our cocktails. And now we're proceeding to the dinner area. I think we're gonna have a very special cute table um, which is gonna be set up for us which is really exciting and I can't wait to try this food. I've heard so many good things about the food here. Oh wow, Did you look at that. That is so beautiful. Phenomenal. It is so romantic. I can't believe it. It's so romantic. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we ordered ourselves a nice French bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, you just know in a place like this that it's going to be a fantastic wine and uh, the food is actually a set menu. I think it's a five course menu mm -hmm. and you just have to pick out the salad, which salad that you want to have and the rest is just gonna come out and I, I find that that really amazing. I love not having to make decisions sometimes. I can confirm, Mike does not want to order food in restaurants, mm. usually. Some, sometimes I enjoy not having to make decisions. It's mostly him giving me the menu, saying um, order whatever you feel like. Uh, oh no, that's because whenever she, she wants to share everything <laughs> and whatever I order, she's, she'll always say something else. So I just, if it makes her happy, I'll let her. Order. I think everybody, every couple can uh, relate. <laughs> I have to try his. That's just, yeah. that's just the way it is, Mike. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I also like, that's why I also like going out for dinner with my brother. Because whenever you go to a restaurant with my brother and you want to order, he's like, duh, 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 don't worry, I'll order for everybody. That's okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, while I've got you here and the food hasn't come out yet, take a moment to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications. If you're new around here, say hi in the comments and uh, let us know how you're enjoying this video so far. 
I'm moving this section, I always put this at the end, but I'm moving it more and more forward in the video because I think it's important to let you guys know what it, the number one way is that you can support us on this channel. So please, uh, if you're a returning viewer or if you're new around here, definitely be logged in, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now, let's get back to this amazing dinner. Thank you very much. Shall I grab your from plants? Yes. Cheers to an amazing upcoming road trip and to you. Ah, oh, to us. So one of the dishes we're going to be having today is the dry aged steak. It is a 40 day dry aged steak and they've actually been doing it already since 17 years. They've been working on this dry aged steak and two years ago they got like a, a professional great dry aged. Before that they were doing it with salt stones like the traditional way. So let's check it out. So Nelly, fun fact, Yes. the, uh, the dry ager, mm -hmm. I need to check, but I believe that is a dry ager that is built in Austria. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and today we have been served a delicious garlic focaccia, which I'm going to give a try. Mmm, super fluffy, crunchy on top, beautifully garlic flavored and it has like olive oil drizzled all over it. Really nice. Ooh, I like gravy. Mm. Can you hear the crunch? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Mike and I have this running gag um, because a few years ago we went on a safari in South Africa and we went to this lodge. They tried to be fancy, but they weren't that fancy. So meaning they would, um, if they would bring out the dinner, they would say, and today we will be serving crispy fish on a bed of lettuce. And it would be just fish fingers. And like every time the server would come and say, today we will be serving, it was something very ridiculous. Mm. My favorite one was, today we will be serving Spanish gazpacho, and it just turned out to be canned tomatoes. <laughs> hey, canned tomatoes can be good. Yeah. Just don't call it gazpacho. <laughs> Our first official dish has come out, which is a salmon tartare with, is this caviar on top? It is. Oh my god, caviar and gold flakes. Silence. <laughs> Words do not suffice to explain how amazing, delicate and well composed this dish tastes. I think Mike is going to cry. Maybe for a change it would be Mike getting emotional. About the food. <laughs> About the food, <laughs> not me getting emotional. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't think that I've ever received such a beautiful salad. Oh, it's look, it looks so good. Wow. And I got a, a salad that is conveniently covered up with some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so far, I am pretty much swept off my feet and we just literally had a starter and a salad. <coughs> this is... Amazing, to say the least. <laughs> Probably one of my best food experiences in the Philippines, for sure. This is Spanish style garlic soup with green egg and bacon. Oh, very nice. Okay, so now we are having the Spanish style soup with garlic and quail egg. Oh, wow. That is such a nice broth. Oh. The quail egg. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. We just arrived at the next stage of our meal. We have here a mango basil sorbet, which means that probably the dish after this is going to be an epic one because something like this, like a sorbet in the middle of your meal, is kind of like a palate cleanser. Yeah. So let's give this a try. Let's see if it's uh, our speech. Let's see if it's a um, sour mango or fresh mango. Uh, ripe mango, sorry. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah? Yeah, very refreshing. It's 
be careful for this one. For this one, this is going to be my mother's head. So we just received our main course, um, which is of course the ribeye steak, perfectly prepared and I love how they prepare the little dish on your plate from the main dish and it comes with the grilled asparagus with shaved parmesan and the bone marrow and we ordered duck fat fries. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give the steak a, a quick try. Oh yeah. So nice, so so beautiful. Get a little bit of this fried onion on there. You can actually still hear the steak sizzling. It smells so good. Mm. 40 day aged steak. It's tangy. It's meaty. It's tender, juicy. It's just perfect. Oh my God. I haven't had a dry aged steak that was so perfectly aged in such a long time. Oh, it is so good. Oh my god. So good. <laughs> and we just got some red wine with the steak. Yes? yes. Rioja. <sighs> Rioja? I don't know. Spanish wine. Mm. Oh, so nice. Okay, so the main course. Oh my god. If you're watching friends, it's a uh, Janice, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, wow, it was so good. It was really good. The asparagus was so nutty. Um, I really love the French fries with the uh, duck fat. It's something else. So if you never had French fries with duck fat, it's next level. And then the steak, I think the steak was one of my top steaks that I ever had. And we actually had steaks at like top restaurants in New York, South Africa, Europe, like Miami. Miami, yes. So many good steaks, but well, this one was just, like, I just had a bite and then it was like flavor explosion and I just had to close my eyes and just enjoy for a moment. Um, so although I was too full, <laughs> I just continued eating because it was so good. It was so good. Oh my god. And best date uh, ever. So many desserts. <laughs> I am so, so full, but luckily God blessed all of us with a second stomach for dessert. And we have here a accoutrement of fantastic desserts. First, we have the burnt chocolate cake. We have, was it the burnt chocolate cake? No, it was flourless. the flourless chocolate cake. Then the chocolate, burnt chocolate ice cream, that was it. Mm -hmm. The salted caramel ice cream. And Nelly, what, 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 what is yours? Mm, something with rum. Something with rum. <laughs> you don't need to know more than that. <laughs> Thank you. So, what did we just receive to round off this we meal? We just got some uh, limoncello. Looks house-made. It's um, cold, it's cooled. So I think it's going to be really good. I enjoyed myself way too much. Had a few wines. So Mike is going to close the vlog. <laughs> All right guys, this has been an incredible, incredible food experience. It just shows me once more how amazing uh, Tagatai is and how many amazing spots there actually are around Manila. We will put all the details to this restaurant in the description down below and they have several outlets all of which are absolutely amazing. Really urge you if you have a special occasion come here if you want to just get a taste of what they can actually do and the quality of food they can deliver you can check out breakfast at Antonio's. We'll be back a hundred percent sure. If you enjoyed this I think this is one of our top spots now. Oh yeah, this is like top five spots in the Philippines, 100%. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, subscribe and turn on the notifications. We will Yay. see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And make it happen. Bye-bye.